And for the first time in 25 years, Montana has a new hot springs. Yellowstone Hot Springs is 10 minutes away from the National Park. MTN's Emma Hamilton has a first look at the new destination. Hot springs are very popular across the Treasure State, but the water at Yellowstone Hot Springs is what's making the experience different. So it's a flow through pool and it actually comes from a source about two miles up um, towards Gardner and it's from Le Duc Hot Springs. So uh, the water comes in at about 140 degrees and we mix it with the cold water and then it goes through and it's about 70,000 gallons per hour that goes through and then it's discharged straight into the Yellowstone River and we're not using any chemicals, very, very little chemicals, so it's all really, really clean. The minerals that are coming through are absolutely extraordinary and um, people will get to feel the benefit of that. Now that the public is able to experience the pools, it's a dream come true for the management team. After overcoming obstacles, including the severe winter weather, causing a delay in the opening. Now opening a hot springs is no easy job, but the sense of community has made it just a little easier. Can't speak highly enough, particularly about the gardener community and what they've done, how they've supported us, you know, it, through everything. They have just, you know, whenever you meet a challenge or whenever anything would happen, and I would go into gardener or Martin would go into gardener and we would say to them, this is our challenge or whatever may be happening. They've just been, you can do this, we're behind you, we support you, and it's, it really has been extraordinary. The other hot springs, you know, uh, both Chico and Bozeman have been really supportive of us. They've given us information. We haven't had to reinvent the wheel in some cases through their support. In Gardner, Emma Hamilton, MTN News. Those hot springs sit at the Royal Teton Ranch, home to Church Universal and Triumphant. Back in the 80s, the church's leader urged followers to prepare for the end of the world by building underground bunkers. When their leader died in 2009, church membership fell. 